Hello everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! We're back for some more Pokemon XD today. I hope everyone is having a fantastic weekend so far. Um, uh, we are continuing on in our Forever Lock journey, uh, playthrough number 63, with uh, with more of this lovely little spinoff game here. So um, yeah, fun stuff. Um, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day though. Um, I was gonna say, we're picking up basically right where we left off, which is exciting. Um, I will say, um, I probably won't be streaming for as long as usual today. Um, I did wind up with some unexpected plans, uh, for the evening time. So, um, I'm probably only going to be streaming for about an hour and a half today. So hopefully that's acceptable. Uh, but either way, we'll have a good time. Uh, I see that we have an Arcanine and an Envy and a Comfy in the chat. So thanks y'all for being here. I do appreciate it. Um... It's lovely to see you, and also the lovely uh, no reason not to's in the chat are much appreciated, because <laughs> uh, after all, there's no reason not to. Um, uh, no, no need for a team recap today, I don't think, especially since we're on a little bit of a time crunch, um, but I did go ahead and get Spiro from yesterday purified, so we will hop right into the purification chamber. First things first, to purify our Spiro and also give it a lovely nickname. Um, also get that recorded for the uh, for the tracker. Uh, hey Mabel, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are doing most well today. Lovely to see the spindas in the chat as well. <laughs> um, sounds like you're having a pretty good time with uh, with BDSP, huh? NB, I noticed you've been talking about it a lot lately. Um, I'm glad you're having such a good time with it. Uh, BDSP is fun to play. I know I talk shit on Sinnoh all the time, and I especially talk shit on BDSP a lot because of like how lackluster they are. But for what it's worth. Diamond and Pearl are fun games, and BBSP are just Diamond and Pearl, so it's like, they're fun games. I'm I'm upset about their lack of potential, but they are fun, genuinely fun games. That's so just like, I'm glad you're having a good time with them. Um, that's really, really cool. <laughs> um, Yeah, there we go. We got our Spiro all purified. Very nice. Let me go ahead and get that recorded. And this will be just a Spiro, to be clear. Um, Spiro. Okay, cool. And I can get that updated uh, later. Very cool. Um, but yeah, what are we calling it? Uh, Arcanine says call it ja Jack, Sp Jack Spiro. Unfortunately, Gen 3 character limit is probably going to prevent me from doing that. Um, I, I believe. Let's see. S-P-E-A-R. Oh, yeah, no. Unfortunately, cannot quite fit it, Arcanine. Um, also, it's it's female as well, so probably would want to call it something else. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I am open to nickname suggestions for this little Spiro here. Uh, we have, again, a female Spiro. Uh, just a Spiro, not a Firo. Um, let me know any suggestions you have. I was I was trying to think of maybe like um, naming it in honor of our first Spiro. Uh, that could be fun. Uh, the actual first death of the entire Forever Lock challenge uh, was a, was a Spiro named Spee, which is my usual name for the Spiro line. S P E E, kind of like the um uh the like second in command of Captain Hook from Peter Pan. Um, I don't know why, it's just what I called them for a really long time. I can't actually remember the true origin of the name, <laughs> but I've been calling them that for so long, it's just sort of made that mental association. Um, SP, it's probably just from, like, the first three letters of, uh, of Spiro, now that I think about it, but, uh, still. I don't know that that's, uh, that's for sure the, for, for sure what it is. Um... Ooh, actually, I like that voices. That's really uh, that's that's like really clever. Uh, Nairobi, I think, is how you say that. Nairobi is the cap uh, captain. Uh, I assume that it was meant to be capital, capital city of Kenya, and Kenya is the name of the of the Spiro you get in Gen Two. That's actually perfect voices. I love that. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. That's a great name. That's a great name. I love that it's like both like kind of cool sounding and also a reference <laughs> so like that's really cool yeah nairobi nairobi the spiro welcome 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 and thank you for the suggestions everybody i do appreciate it. they were all very good i actually really like caribbean for it as well that's a fun name <laughs> um but uh yeah we'll uh we'll, we'll go with nairobi and yeah thank you thank y'all for the suggestions we'll keep them in our pocket as always hey elk welcome in alola as always Ooh, caught in the corner very good um but yeah so we are continuing off on our journey let's uh let's head on i don't remember exactly what it is we need to do um a lot of progression plates in xd and coliseum for that matter are very like vague <laughs> just kind of have to dick around until you find it um but yeah, i do know that we need to go to yes the the uh ss libra i do think we also need to go back and talk to people at the onbs as well but we'll start by going to this new location and see what happens Yep, very good, very good. Alex says, uh, just did my first voice acting recording. Oh, I didn't know you were interested in voice acting. God damn, that's super cool. Uh, well, congrats, con congratulations on that. I hope that went well. 
Uh, Mabel says I caught a shiny pincer yesterday, so I can finally continue my shiny bug playthrough of Let's Go. Heck yeah! What color is shiny pincers? Like, I want to say it's like purple, right? But I, I could be pulling that out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Maybe it's green. I feel like I feel like it might, it might be green now that I think about it. You tried going to the northern desert, didn't you? The northern desert sand is very deep. Any ordinary scooter can't possibly make it through the sand. Oh, well, rip. Well, I'm getting an email. Uh, Lids, we've been asked to help locate a missing Pokemon. It was among those missing with the SS Libra. Please visit us in Pyrite Town to speak to the missing Pokemon's owner. You got it. Sounds like a mission. It's for a podcast-like project. It's a scripted radio show. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Well, yeah, have fun. Have fun with that. That sounds like a fun little project to be working on. So, yeah, heck yeah. Heck yeah, heck yeah. It, okay, it is purpley blue. I knew I wasn't uh, hallucinating. Yeah, I knew it was like some like some sort of like purplish like color. Yeah. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Well, congrats on the shiny pincer and congrats on the being able to play more Let's Go. That's that's always nice. I, I've always wanted to do a shiny run. I just I just don't have the patience, especially for that like first mon. I just don't have the patience to sit there and shiny hunt, especially in the early game uh, of Let's Go. It can be kind of challenging. So um, you know, hats off to you for having the patience for that. That's really cool. Uh, but yeah, Citrus and Mullikip's up front. Uh, I don't think we're fighting anybody here. Just making sure, making sure to take inventory. You know, <laughs> you know how it goes. Uh, uh, Medley says greetings and salutations, beautiful people. Wait, hold on, hold on, Medley. That's familiar. That's a that's a that's like a uh, uh, an opening tagline for like a YouTuber, isn't it? Hold on, what? Is, oh, who is that? Greetings and salut salutations, my beautiful people. Oh my God, who says that? I know that. I know that that um that opening. But also, hi. <laughs> Welcome in, Medley. <laughs> uh, oh, right, right, right. We need to go up and talk to Ned again. Uh, no, it's it's not Phil. It's no... Who... Oh, you don't even know? So it's not actually a reference. It's unintentional. Yeah, who, who is it that says that? Greetings and salutations, my beautiful people. Who says that? Who says that? Hold on, hold on. I have to Google it. It's going to drive me insane. It's gonna, it's gonna drive me insane. I've heard, like, I've heard that, like, consistently before. Greetings and salutations, my beautiful people. That's gotta be, I mean, obviously, like, anyone could say that. Oh, it's Kedicarus, okay. <laughs> that used to be his, his opening tagline. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, now I can hear it. I can hear it in my head now. It's Kedicarus. Okay, cool. That was gonna drive me insane if I didn't look it up. <laughs> um... Yeah, probably not an intentional reference uh, from what it looks like, but um, I appreciate it as a Kid Icarus fan. That's cool. <laughs> yes, very good. Very good. I'm just going to heal just because you see a heal station, you heal. <laughs> very good. Uh, Alex says the hosts try to figure out the miss. Oh, okay. It's, uh, so it's, yeah, okay. I see. I see what you're, what you're, what you're putting down. That's cool. Um, <laughs> that's really, really cool. Sounds like you got a you got a cool little cool little shindig going on. Hey, it happens sometimes. Oh, no worries. The point is is that you're aware of of that sort of thing. So yeah, very respectful, very respectful. You get the W. Yo, I heard what happened in Phoenix from Marcia. I'm amazed they even managed to hold Justy hostage. By the way, that old gent came here with his daughter. He's looking for help finding a missing Pokemon. Liz, if you don't mind, please hear him out. You got it. Uh, Arcanine says, the only reason I know of Cat Icarus is because YouTube keeps recommending clips of his videos, even though I've never seen them. I do, I mean, his humor is, um, it's a little on the raunchy side, um, uh, you know, on occasion. It, it, it has, like, a very particular energy to it that I can't say I've ever seen from another content creator, but I'm a big fan, um, especially his more recent work. Some of his older stuff is a little on the cringy side, and he even, even he acknowledges that, but his modern videos are actually bangers. <laughs> it's, like, usually, like, an hour long of just, like, solid content. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend it. He's probably, honestly, he's one of the few good youtubers out there in my opinion that's like left so <laughs> yeah i, re I recommend them Ar uh, arcanine if you haven't watched his videos before um yeah definitely he's like uh he has a series it's like uh the 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 something world of something series basically they that's like been his like main main bread and butter lately is like it'll be like the wacky world of pixar games or the crazy world of of ps5 launch titles or you know stuff like that 
um, you know, he basically like a kind of a, a system to his his titles for videos. And yeah, th those ones in particular are some of the greatest uh, content he's ever put out. So yeah, highly recommend checking out those at least. Um, so yeah, good stuff. <laughs> uh, Voices says for question of the day. Oh, so yeah, today's question of the day is what sorts of po uh, Pokemon fan games have you played? Yeah, this was a suggestion uh, that I thought would be uh, pretty cool. Uh, I, ha I myself have not played a whole lot of fan games, so I'll just be curious to see what all you have to say. Um, but yeah, so Voices says uh, Radical Red. And I'm not sure if it's a fan uh, fan made uh, or not, but Pokemon Duel. Uh, Pokemon, I mean, I would know if it was a real thing. Um, unless, are you talking about... Uh, I was gonna say maybe maybe you're just spelling. I think there is Pokemon Duel, like D D U E L. That's like a that was official. That was like a little toy, little like toy figure battle game or whatever. That was official. I, I I don't think it really took off, but that was official. If that's what you're referring to, if it's Pokemon Duel, like D U A L, like you spelled it there, um, then that that could be a fan project that I'm just unaware of. <laughs> um, but yeah, good 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 choice on Radical Red. I've heard really good things about Radical Red, so yeah, definitely. Yep, definitely, definitely. Um, ba -ba 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 -do. uh, Medley says, uh, yeah, I've seen the newer stuff, so I may have accidentally picked it up without realizing it. Oh, there you go. Okay, so yeah, maybe you just, just yeah, just kind of popped into your psyche there, Medley. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, yeah, uh, good stuff in any case. It's lovely to see you here today. Okay, we gotta find a missing Pokemon. You got it, but I gotta get into the desert first, so... <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll try collecting information on our own, but to be honest, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. For the time being, there are many. Uh, there may be nothing we can do but gather information while tracking Cypher's movements. Lids, your clothes are covered in sand. What happened to you? Oh no, my my clothes are all dusty. No. <laughs> um, uh, Pokemonica says, uh, "True, I love his long videos." It's saying that even though they're super long, I just keep benching them over. And I know they're so rewatchable. I've rewatched, uh, like I said, that. Um, the Wacky World of series or whatever you want to call it. I've rewatched those probably like eight times each. They're so good. <laughs> it's great background noise when I'm doing other stuff. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's really funny. That's big dudes. That could be Cypher's new hideout. But it may be too difficult for an ordinary scooter to cross the desert. It won't be easy to, to getting there to investigate. Well, for help with something like that, how about Purr and Gatenport? If anyone can help. Oh yes, that's it. Good idea, Bit. Purr is an old buddy of ours. He runs a mechanical parts shop with his grandpa, Makan. Huh? You know that guy? Well, we can we can cut right to the chase. I'll get in touch with him. I'll be sure. Uh, I'm sure he'll come come up with the means for you to cross the desert. Yes, very good. Okay, we're off to Gatenport for a lovely a lovely bit of stall. And I believe actually we get to go and rematch Chobin. Also, uh, rip this area just completely blocked off. <laughs> Um, yeah, I believe we have to go back to Kamiko's Manor and, and rematch Chobin, so that'll be fun. <laughs> that was the one. Okay, so yeah, you were talking about Pokemon Duel. Got it. Yeah, no, that was that was official. That was official. It just uh, did not take off very well, because <laughs> I feel like that it came out. People talked about it for like five seconds, and then I haven't heard a peep about it since. So yeah, uh, clearly a... a uh, a uh, side project that did not pan out particularly well. <laughs> okay, so now we head on over to... Yes, we are going to um, Gatenport, yes. Uh, Arcanist says, here's my favorite type of videos, icebergs. I don't care uh, if I know nothing about the topic. I just love deep dives. I've, I've seen those pop into my recommendeds a couple times. I've never clicked on one. Is, like, the con... Is, like... Is it just basically like yeah like a huge rundown of everything about that particular topic is that what that actually are like th is that what those videos actually are i've never i've never clicked one um so i just i wasn't sure of the context and i'm not familiar with that term like iceberg in in reference to what i presume i i what i presumed based on like what the thumbnail was and what it looked like um okay park shop let's talk to purr it was a good strategy concept. Oh, Pokemon Duel. Is it still, like, a thing? Is it being supported still? Or is it, like, kind of, like, died or whatever? Um, yeah, I'd be curious about that. It starts with more well-known things. It goes further down into the un unsecured stuff. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I'll have to... Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll um, next time I see one pop into my recommended, maybe I'll click on it and check it out. Because, <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I do always enjoy learning about things. Yeah, even if it's not something I'm, like, overly familiar with. So, yeah, that could be cool. 
Oh, it has gone? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Like I said, like, no one talked about that game after it came out, so I'm not surprised. Monica says, how have I never heard of Pokemon Duel? I, well, it, ca it, it came out, like, alongside, like, Masters and, like, one of the go-up. It was, it was one of those things they threw into the start of a Pokemon Direct or whatever that was just completely overshadowed by the other things that they showed there. Like, people were more interested in what was going on with Masters and, and Go. And, of course, like, they, I, probably, like, whatever main series stuff was shown. So, yeah. <laughs> kind of wild. Uh, welcome in, Star. Good to see you. Um, uh, Star says Pokemon Duel was fun, but it had, like, no support. Yeah, it, it seems like it was sort of like a project that got pushed out and then just kind of... When it was when there wasn't immediate hype behind it, it just immediately was like shelved. <laughs> it's kind of a shame. You hate to see it happen. The courageous actions of a young a young girl thwarted a group of cipher operatives who had infiltrated Phoenix City. This footage shows the girl and his and her Pokemon driving off a team uh, uh driving uh driving I can read I promise driving off a top cipher admin from the city stadium. Cipher had been trying. Wait, I guess this is this is Ross talking. Um. Cypher has been trying to take over the entire city by replacing its citizens with the syndicate's members. ONBS, who was also... Wait, why is he talking? That is the same guy, right? Or does just everyone who works at ONBS look like Ross? <laughs> I don't know, whatever. ONBS was also targeted for takeover by Cypher. Despite this setback, Cypher appears to be growing more active. The, author the authorities have issued a caution to all citizens and organizations to be uh, alert to the possibility of further attacks. As you've seen, Cypher has returned with a vengeance. The entire Ore region is endangered again. ONBS promises to promises to do, doggedly pursue this story and provide you with the most accurate information on Cypher's actions. I'm sorry, I'm sipping my coffee. I I, I woke up hella late today, so I'm I'm still uh, drinking my coffee this morning. Um, I have not had coffee at any streams, which is crazy because that's like my thing. <laughs> that's been my thing for a while. But yeah, no, I have not been drinking coffee because I I've been limiting myself to three cups a day. But I woke up so late today that I'm actually still drinking my third cup. Yeah, very good. <laughs> We must not allow Cypher to carry out its conspiracy of fear. Let us protect the peace of Ore with, with courage. Uh, Arganis says ONBS. Is that just OBS in disguise? I don't trust ONBS. I know. Super sus. Super sus. <laughs> uh, Star says, uh, also, you play a game whose whole thing is spinning figures. You don't have that visceral reaction. It loses part of its charm. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, it's just, like, it has to immediately, like, draw in the attention with, like, that sort of, like, very, um like simple premise right uh like visually so yeah it, if it if it didn't blow up immediately it you know blew up and just fizzled out <laughs> uh you're amazing well i always thought you were amazing but i didn't know how amazing here here you are before my eyes but you're also on the tv news it's a funny little feeling hey i figured it out you want your scooter modified so you can lay a smackdown on cypher right of all times grandpa would be out of the shop it's a headache he's over at dr kaminko's manor again you'd better go off and see him in person Yes, sir. We are off to the manor to play uh, Messenger Girl. But also, these guys are here again. Oh, my, my, I haven't seen you for a while. I understand you were quite the hero in Phoenix City. Very impressive of you. Ho, ho, ho. I like these guys. <laughs> I like artists and all this. They're kind of cool. All right, let's go. Back to the mansion with everybody's favorite. Everybody's favorite character in XD, right? Surely. Surely. Okay. Let's see what's cooking for us. Wait, who goes there? You must be yet another burglar. Why are there so many burglars? Chobin will put you straight. Don't you move. Chobin am I, and Chobin is the number one assistant to Dr. Kaminko. Chobin is still the only assistant, so Chobin has to be the number one assistant. All right, Chobin is back, baby. The return. <laughs> the grand return. Okay, well, he's got a Gyarados now, so he's been training. He's been training. And he's learned how to double battle as well. Okay, so we go for... What do we got cooking here? 
Um, why don't we why don't we double down on that Gyarados? Try to get it out of here. Um, yeah, we'll go we'll go for the neutral neutral Giga Drain. Argonus says, "When I was younger playing Pokemon, I read the names of the characters as something they were saying because I was idiot." Oh, <laughs> hey, it. oh, like like, like w when it puts the like uh, the name placard with the colon, you'd read that as well. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, like if you don't like know what that symbol means, it's just like yeah, like I I, I can understand. <laughs> Especially since uh, I imagine English is not your first language, Arcanine, so that's fair. <laughs> yep. Good old Chobin. Good old Chobin. Who doesn't love him? Again, if they weren't cowards, they'd put Chobin in Pokemon Masters. I'm still... Uh, put Chobin in, put Mirror B in, and I would be satisfied. <laughs> I would be very satisfied. That's Aerial Ace's Sun Kern. Yep, checks out, Arcanine, checks out. I was gonna say, they probably don't have, uh, with, uh, in Iceland, they probably don't, like, when, when Pokemon games come out and you go and buy them in the store, Arcanine, is, are they in English, or, like, do they have, like, other options, or, like, what's, uh, what, what does it look like when you go and buy a Pokemon game? I guess I'm curious. Yep. Just curious, just curious. Uh, Dwight Crescent is here. Hello, how's it going? Says, how do you have the sheer willpower to do this series? Uh, <laughs> uh I have a lot of free time, I guess. <laughs> I'm already the type of person who, I, like, I living dexes are, like, kind of my jam uh, in general. Um, I've done, like, upwards of 15. Like, I, I, I don't know, I've kind of lost count. I've done many living dexes, like, from start to finish, multiple, multiples of times. It's just my favorite thing to do with Pokemon. So, uh, when I came up with the idea, I was like, oh, let's combine that, like, that idea with a Nuzlocke. I was like, yeah, like, that sounds fun. So, here we are, uh, three years in. Um, very exciting. <laughs> well, I guess it's two in, well, it's, no, I guess, uh, it'll be three years in, uh, May. So, that's exciting. <laughs> yeah, three-year anniversary coming up. Hot damn. Been doing this for a minute, huh? <laughs> yeah, welcome in, uh, uh, Crescent. Good to see you. Something, something, Watson Masters. Yes, I know, Star. I know. <laughs> I can't bring up uh, Masters without without Watson coming to your to your mind. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Chobin lost. Oh no, this is devastating to Chobin. Chobin demands a rematch. Chobin, what is the meaning of all your shouting? They're all okay. So they're only in English. Okay, interesting. I mean, obviously, I know the the modern um, Pokemon games have like language options, like from the start. So you can probably just pick whatever one you want from the typical list. But yeah, I'm just wondering like what the default was for like some of the older ones. Yeah. So it seems like English is it. Um, would you, would you say that the vast majority of folks in Iceland speak English, Arcanine? Just out of curiosity. Hey, I, to I totally, I totally get you, Crescent. Um, yeah, everyone has like different ways of, of playing Pokemon games and like like the things that they enjoy in them. So I can totally respect it, absolutely. Chobin was trying to teach this burglar a lesson. Burglar, a burglar, you say? No mercy needs to be given to a burglar. Let us just com let the just completed it handle him. Bum bum bum. Doctor, you don't mean it? I said it. Chobin understands. It it is. You wait, you're going to get it. Ooh, the business is coming, y'all. <laughs> oh, soon, yes, very soon you will see what we have in store for you. If you wish to flee, let it be now. No. <laughs> ah, so you in, your intention is to burgle no matter what. A harsh lesson needs to be taught. Fine, let us begin. <laughs> Tweet? Uh, what, tweet? Tweet? Don't, don't you mean post? I'm oh, sorry. Let me stop. <laughs> Though the rumble of the thunder fails the air, the weather remains free of clouds. The thunder tear the skies and rend the earth. The time has come for the ultimate robo-Pokemon to finally reveal itself. Come hither, robo-Groudon! Yes, here it is. Here it is! Medley says, I was just watching an old VOD where you predicted the challenge was going to take a year, year, maybe two. I, I was probably joking, Medley. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. There's no way. It's going to take a very long time, especially at my pace. <laughs> Jackie says, ah, the, the progenitor of the let me fight Ultra Lucimede. I know. I, honestly, I kind of like it here more than the Lucimede thing, though, Jackie, because it's it feels in character that they would be like, oh, yeah, wear the suit while you just use your, your normal Pokemon. <laughs> 
<laughs> like they just like wouldn't have put together like oh maybe have the actual robot attack because <laughs> they're both morons i don't know i kind of like it although it would have been really cool to fight robo groudon i will say robo groudon go go this is this is who you battle you've been warned I see, that makes sense then, Arcanine. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, we got the Sunflora. I guess he found a Sunstone down in the cellar. I know, yeah, Jackie. He gets boss fight music. Chobin, freaking Chobin gets boss fight music. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty great. It's pretty stinking funny. Um, we'll be okay if I just go in. Did I? I didn't metal claw the Gyarados, did I? I'm into confusion if I did. He goes for a bite. We eat it up. Very good. Very good. Arganine says, Liz, do you think you could beat Chobin in a fight? Are you kidding me, Arganine? I could take I could take Chobin and dunk smash him into a locker. Like straight up. Like full, like lift him up into the air and jam him in a locker. Absolutely. <laughs> He's a freaking dork. Of course I could. <laughs> uh Star says he found a sun stun to evolve a sun current into sun floor in the sun cellar. Haha. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay. Infusion. And Giga Drain. We've got two more Pokemon as well now, so I guess he's uh he also found extra Pokemon down there. Very good, very good. Alright, got the ingrain, that's fine. What about Chobin in the Mecha Groudon? I mean honestly, like I don't know the capabilities of the Mecha Groudon, but frankly, Chobin doesn't look like he probably does either. <laughs> so if it does have anything beyond just being literal or literally a robot suit to wear, um, I don't know. I feel like I could probably just pull him out of it. It's got a pretty big open opening in it, so. <laughs> oh, actually, oh no, let's yeah, we'll, we'll do Confusion Gyarados, finish it off, and Aerial Ace the Sunflora. Here comes the thrash. Okay, ooh, critical hit. That's less than ideal. Also, I don't know if I said this, but uh, welcome in, Jackie. It's good to see you. Good to see you. All right, Gyarados goes down. Beautiful. Okay, hop up. The Razor Leaf coming in, which we resist quite quite a lot on this squad. <laughs> We're not really worried about that. Alright, let's knock out that Sun Flora right quick. <laughs> Ox says Chobin best boy. I know he's a he's a pretty He's a pretty, pretty smashing individual, I will say. Like I say, I do, I do, I want him to be in Masters, and I also want his, uh, what I think are called Cygna suits. I want his Cygna suit to be Robo, Robo Groudon. It's like so perfect. It's literally so perfect. And I also want Mira B to be in there with his Coliseum uh, outfit by default, and then his XD outfit as the Cygna suit. It's so perfect. It literally works out so well. I want to see it happen. <laughs> Okay. Beautiful. Hey, SBS, welcome in. Says, I'm playing uh, Dragon Quest XI. What, what did I miss? Uh, not a whole lot. We're just just making more progress. That's cool. You're playing uh, DQ11. I've had that on my shelf for forever. I need to I need to try it out um, here before too terribly long. Because, um, yeah, it, uh, I, I really enjoyed 8. And I've heard 11 is, like, kind of uh, of a similar caliber as far as, like, good story goes. So, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have to check that one out really soon. Oh, I just realized I gotta be kind of careful with this Tropius, huh? I might have a flying move. And I don't want to lose my Skip Loom. 
Oh, it says in the Netherlands we learn, uh, I assume, English super early too. Very cool. What's the um? Just because I'm not worldly. Uh, what is uh, what is the default like the default language in the Netherlands? I'll... I am curious. Okay, half damage. So if I double down on Tropius again, I should be able to knock it out. I think. Oh, Mikey Beep is uh, is now following. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, I assume you're the same person from the Discord. Welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. Lovely to see you, and thank you for the follow. I do appreciate that. Okay. Fusion and Aerial Ace to hopefully knock this thing out before it can do any uh, flying moves. That would be ideal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Arcanine. Are you a, Cho a Chobin supporter? I understand. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm sure we can all appreciate Chobin for what he brings to the table. <laughs> Alright, Tropius is down. Not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Just gotta knock out a little itty bitty baby hot pip. I was gonna say, aside from XD, uh, I'm also playing Coliseum uh, outside of stream, just like for. Uh, I, I'm working on uh, assembling a collection of all the shadow Pokemon in the, in the home. And I gotta say, um, I, the XD is exponentially easier. <laughs> Coliseum is kicking my ass right now. I'm not nuzlocking it, which is good, but I'm having such a hard time keeping up, like, level-wise. And I'm not even using a full team in Coliseum. It's, like, kind of wild. It's crazy to me that we got as far as we did uh, when we when we nuzlocked Coliseum way back when, because, like, holy cow, it is, uh, it is monstrous. Uh, here, actually, I'll just, um, I'll just power through. I'm sure Aerial Ace will, if not one shot, it'll be like two shots, I'm sure. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yes, hello. Hello, Mikey. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. Mullikips hits 32. Perfect. And Chobin goes down. Beautiful. Sorry, the Robo Groudon just wasn't enough, Chobin. Sorry, Charlie. I love the animation for it, though. That's so that's so flavorful. <laughs> God, they used to go so hard on this kind of stuff in the back of the day. These days, it's just like, oh yeah, we got a bunch of we got a bunch of 3D models who, that spin in place to talk to each other for our for our uh, our spinoff games. But they went so hard back in the 2000s. It's beautiful. <laughs> Jackie says for Call of playthroughs, I, I pretty much just solo with Umbreon and Espeon. Otherwise, the level curve destroys you. I know. Yeah, you like, if you want to, like, get through efficiently, you almost have to, like, yeah, focus on, like, a very small pool. I've definitely done runs where I, I did just four uh, because it was, like, oh, okay, I have, like, you know, uh, Umbreon and Espeon usually and then, like, two others just for type variety. Um, but, yeah, you go more than that, the level curve will kick your ass because the game expects you to go back and, like, rematch, like, every single trainer at every possible opportunity just to keep up. Um, it's actually kind of wild. Oh, actually, Star, you might, you might be, you might be pleased to know that they, they did not, uh, they did not slough on that. <laughs> they did not slough on that. It's not a suit, but they, there is a Robo Kyogre. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, they're even talking about it right now. No man, see to it that the Robo Kyogre is disposed of as scrap by Makan of the parts shops. Understood? Huh? We are dropping development of the Robo Kyogre? It's finished. Over and done with. Kaput! The whole Robo Pokemon plan is cancelled. Yo, what if. Okay, hear me out, chat. Hear me out. What if Dr. Kaminko, in like an alternate timeline, is the one who builds. The uh the the future paradox Pokemon. <laughs> Think about it. All the way back in 2005, we were talking about robot Pokemon, and then in 20 what is it 2018 when Scarlet Violet came out 2018 or 2019 whatever it was comes around, and suddenly there's a ton of robot Pokemon. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying we could headcanon that this this man right here is the is the is the legendary icon behind. <laughs> The future paradox Pokemon changed my mind. <laughs> can we can we make this like an established theory that we like try and push, like like get it get it like everyone talking about it? Twenty twenty two, whatever it was. Yeah, sorry, I, my 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 years are all fucked up, Arcanine. But still, whatever it was, it, it in modern times. Yeah, Kamiko is the one. <laughs> Kamiko was the one the whole time. <laughs> 
Uh, Mikey said, I, I only get, tried to play Colosseum once and didn't even finish it. It's hard. It's honestly, it's one of the harder Pokemon games, Mikey. I totally get it. I totally get it. Uh, SB says, to answer your question, Dragon Quest XI is good so far. I'm still pretty early in the game, though. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, yeah, you'll have to uh, keep reporting on it uh, for me because I'd love to hear more about it. Um, yeah, I've heard it's really good, though, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> uh, Jackie says, turns out that it's not a 100 million years in the future. It's just Kaminko XD. <laughs> Well, no, I like the idea that it is still hundred millions of years in the future, but like one of uh, one of Kamiko's like goofy, like pointless experiments that, that they're always going off about, like accidentally gave him immortality. <laughs> like he was trying. What if? Okay, so um, here's here's the, here's the theory. Okay, Doctor Kamiko was trying to develop like I don't know something that would make it so that your shoulders don't slouch, but he accidentally invents like like uh, Im immortality potion. <laughs> or something and so he becomes literally immortal and so like hundreds of years in the future he decides to bring back the robo the robo pokemon um uh project because he's bored because he's immortal and then he winds up building all the future paradox pokemon that get captured by sada and brought into scarlet and violet tell me this theory does not totally track <laughs> because i think it does <laughs> Um, yeah. If, if y'all are on board with me, I'm on, I'm on board for this shit. <laughs> um, at least I noticed a distinct lack of Paradox ground on the Kyogre. Maybe because they've already been invented. That's what I'm saying! Exactly! The reason that there is no Paradox uh, ground on Kyogre is because he didn't want to rebuild old prototypes. He already built those and they weren't like what, what he wanted. So yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. So Robo Groudon is the first Paradox Pokemon. Changed my mind. <laughs> Oh, hey, Frumpy, welcome in. You caught me, you caught me uh, brainstorming the stupidest Pokemon theory ever, ever conceived. So, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hmm, I have no interest in any Robo I've scrapped. See, exactly, he says it right there. He doesn't want to, he wouldn't want to rework on Groudon and Kyogre. He already built them. <laughs> As you wish. Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> exactly, Frumpy, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad I have the chat seal on, a seal of approval on that one. <sighs> After all we did to bring it so close to completion. Chobin wants what uh, wants to know what brought you here today. Chobin sees you wanted to see the part shop man? A kindness in the manor. Chobin suggests that you go in and have a look. In the meantime, Chobin must put away the rubble ground on. Oh yes! Lids, Chobin would like your pe Oh, I don't want to give you my number, Chobin. I gotta be real with you. <laughs> but alright, I guess I'm doing it. Chobin will modify the Robo Groudon. Chobin, Chobin would like a rematch when the work is done. Okay, very good. Let's go talk to Makan. <laughs> I, was gonna, I think there's new uh, new uh, uh, projects in here, too, if we watch. Dr. Kamiko's inventions are number one in the world. Chobin's choice is, ta-da, the power-draining light bulb. At first glance, it is an ordinary sort of plain light bulb, but it positively gulps electricity at ten times the usual rate. Keep using this and the electricity bills will grow shockingly, and it won't be easy to find out why. Chobin thinks it's dazzling. See, this is what I, that's what I'm saying. It's like I like the idea that they make a stupid invention like that, and then yeah, he becomes immortal. <laughs> I'm sticking to that theory no matter what. No matter what, no matter what. <laughs> SBS says, let's finally be I have many friends, SBS. Chat chat's my friend, except for you, SBS. <laughs> right? Are y'all my friends, chat? Let me know. I need I need emotional support. <laughs> Where's my Oh, he's probably downstairs, right? You, child, that area is strictly prohibited. Oh, never mind. The basement R&D room is no longer home to any secrets. Yes, thank you, Star Champ. Thank you. See, Star Champ gets brownie points. Mikey gets brownie points. Yeah, everyone who says that they're my friend in chat gets brownie, like, super special brownie points. <laughs> and SPS gets nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Frumpy. You may come and go as you wish, but do, tr do try not to disturb Makan inside. Alright, let's go. Yes, exactly, Star, exactly. <laughs> but this little room right here always always looks like a Resident Evil hallway or something. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> exciting, exciting. Okay, let's talk to Makan. Let's get this going here. Hmm, so this is Robo Kyogre that Kamiko was under, had as under development. He called it useless scrap and demanded that I haul it away, but you know what? This is quite a well-engineered machine. Whoa, you're giving me quite the start. Who might you be? Did you come from Pokemon HQ Lab? My name is Bakan. I run the parts shop in Gatenport. 
I was the lab director, Professor Crane, yes? Hmm, Cypher's back then. I thought they folded five years ago, but they've returned. So you want me to modify your scooter for, for desert crossing performance? Well, you certainly are bold for even considering to face Cypher alone. Fine, let's do it. I'll modify your scooter. Good deed shouldn't wait. I'll arrange to haul this Ky Robo Kyogre back to my shop right away. I'll see you there. Ah, oh, very good, very good. <laughs> yay, Monica, yay. <laughs> Um, Jackie says, uh, of course, of, uh, co of course I'm your friend, not just parasocially. Heck yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> Medley says, I would have loved to if we responded with the same thing, like a cult response. Yeah, no, like everyone says like the exact same answer in the exact same way at the same time. <laughs> it would have been perfect. <laughs> oh, yes, very good. Very good. Yeah, yes, Lids, they all said in unison. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Feel like a, like a Doki Doki Literature Club thing or something. <laughs> <laughs> Only lids. <laughs> no, let me stop. Oof, what a job that was! It's finally done. I'm converted. I've converted it into a hover type scooter. Yo, the secret, the secret 19 type, the hover type. Very nice. So it'll be perfect for the desert. Go on, try it right away. All right, beautiful. We are off to the desert. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I believe we go to the, if I remember right, we go to the desert, uh, we gotta go play, play some, uh, Metal Gear Solid with, uh, Bonsai, and, uh, and then I think we get our snag machine jacked, so, <laughs> I think that's what's coming up, if I remember right. <laughs> oh my goodness. The 19th type is, is stellar. That's in, uh, yeah, that is an interesting new development from uh, Indigo Desk for sure, for sure. I, I still don't know quite know how I feel about that. All right, boat in the desert. Let's go. It is actually quite visually spectacular though to see. Very very cool uh, uh, set piece. All right, and in we go. We got mail. It's from Jesse. Thanks for being so patient. The pre-gym is finally set to be reopened. So yeah, we can go fight there. Uh, I think I think Jesse does give us a double team, which is cool. Um, but I don't know if I want to... Because I, I have to fight quite a few trainers to grab that. Also, I have to be very careful in here. If you if you walk off the edge in this area, you just straight up walk off the edge like this. Um, so you got Like, the hitbox ward is, like, a little bit bigger than it should be, though. So it can be kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> if you're not careful. Okay, I mean, does that make Stellar the 20th type since we already had, yeah, question, question, question? Yo, does, I wonder if, Ar like, in, in the code, I wonder if Arceus has a, a secret, like, a, a Stellar stellar type. That's actually, see, I fucking did it. I did exactly what I said I shouldn't do. <laughs> yeah, is there is there a Stellar stellar uh, stellar type uh, Arceus? I don't know. I'd be curious about that. Probably not. They probably wouldn't have coded that in, but be interesting to know. I don't think question question does still exist. I think it got. Uh, I think it was removed in Gen Five, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I don't know. I can't remember now. <laughs> okay, up the stairs. Oh, and also, <laughs> uh, this 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 right here is the ideal male body shape, like it or not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> After all I do to get here, we let one get away. Isn't that right, Snidle? Oh, yes, indeed. Such a lost opportunity, for it was obviously rare if only it had been caught. Uh, if you caught it, go again, your collection would have been enhanced by 0.7%. Such a disappointing loss. Uh, Marcus says it would be cool. Uh, Arceus did have the, yeah, the unused. Yeah, that's what made me think of it is, yeah, because uh, Arceus did have, like, the, the the secret unused question, 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 just because of how it was, uh, just because of how it was, uh, uh coded. Yeah, very cool. Oh, it, very cool. Yeah, no, I guess I did remember that now that you mentioned it, Star. Yeah, the, uh, because it is possible to have a Pokemon's get its types all removed by, like, effects in battle. So, yeah, I guess, I guess that makes sense. It took off because we made so much noise, Gorgon, sir. I heard that. You're pinning the blame on me. That's blatant insubordination. I'm in a foul mood today. No, not plain foul. Foul, foul. Today of all days. Oh, Gorgon, sir. An intruder. 
Ugh, that fool Snaddle had to screw up. Someone let this outsider get in here. Our recovery plan's done, but we can't let you go. Not after you've seen us here. Hey. Yes, sir. Teach this little girl a thing or two about pain. Aye, aye, sir. You can leave everything to me. You can rest assured that the job will be done while you return to the lair. See to it. And then that stride, though. I would love if he just body checked me on the way by. <laughs> <laughs> just like fucking boom <laughs> with those gigantic fucking uh, arm muscles <laughs> well now you heard the man I must get back to the lair too you know what to do wait a second that's not what you said allow me to explain we have a crucial job to do at the lair we need to make shadow Pokemon from these that were on the ship you do agree that the, you do agree this is indeed important don't you if you were to do the job it would take 38% more effort than I in that case, Gorgon mood would worsen by 72. This fucking guy. <laughs> this guy can get the hell out of here. As a result, if you were to take the, this this girl onto my place, we would be ahead 63% in terms of overall efficiency. You could suck my dick. How about that? <laughs> like, get out of here, dude. Come on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's fight Smarton. Untail and Cacnea. <laughs> well, sure, no, there's nothing wrong with collecting data, Argonite. It's more just, like, the condescending way he's, like, throwing out numbers like that to everybody's face, like, unprompted. It's just kind of, like, super, super cringy. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I also like to collect data. You should see all the spreadsheets I have. Can't separate a trans girl from her spreadsheets. It's just what we do. Okay, let's go. Water pulse. Yes, exa exactly, exactly, be exactly. <laughs> Ooh, oh, actually, hold up. Okay, Whew. I'm glad he went for Molokips on that one, because uh, Citrus is a little on the low side. Shit, did are we asleep still from Chobin? Did I not heal up? Maybe, I think that's what happened. I need to be more careful. <laughs> this isn't uh, this isn't Coliseum right now, where it's it's fine if my Pokemon get knocked out. I actually have to be careful. <laughs> uh, let me go into Friday. And I will also we'll Giga Drain the Huntail. <laughs> Beautiful Arcanine. <laughs> okay. Uh, Giga Drain. Finish off the Huntail. Perfect. Mikey says, I want to bring up the models in this game. I love them, especially animations with them. I know they're so, we, we've talked about them so many times, but like it's it's absolutely worth reiterating. Just, they're fantastic. They're way better than any any of the modern ones. Like, and it's not even close. <laughs> it just makes me, I mean, obviously like some of the state, like, cause they reuse gen one and two from stadium one and two. Um, so those ones are a little like jagged as far as like the actual model itself, but the animations are just so on point. Like you almost don't care. Um, yeah, no, it's it's yeah, it's um, it just makes me it makes me pine for the for the Pokemon game that comes out where like we do genuinely get like really good animations like these because these truly are fantastic. Um, and I would love to. I would love. Frankly, there's no reason they couldn't just go back and take the take the animations and then reuse them for like all the Pokemon that are in this game. Like they could just do that. Like I know they weren't developed by like uh, the Pokemon Company or or Game Freak or whatever, but like they own this game. They can use it for whatever they want. <laughs> so they should do that. I don't know. Just strange to me. Strange to me their choices. Instead, they'd rather have a lot, like, really sterile animation of just standing still and looking stupid. But, whatever. <laughs> At least we got the the, uh, the fans doing those, like, crazy mods with, like, BDSP and stuff. Like, giving all these, like, crazy awesome animations. Um... At least, at least there's that's a thing, so we could see what it would look like if Pokemon made an actual visually appealing game. <laughs> uh, and it is tantalizing. Ooh, okay, you got aerial ace. So I gotta be a little a little more careful there. Let me I'm just gonna surf and I'll swap my kips out for uh let's do Leia. Okay. 
Okay, so the Surf will hopefully do some big damage. Let's see. Okay, Teddy Ursa does live. Coughing. Ooh, just barely. Goddamn. <laughs> okay, Leia tanks an aerial ace for us. That's perfect. God, I love that anime. See, look at the animation. They're so good. <laughs> Yeah, like imagine coughing doing that every time you use a poison move with the little his little like uh like I guess like air holes like like you know stretching and like winding and like that um you know it'd be so cool again so much potential so much missed potential uh in in the modern games it feels bad it feels bad I, they are getting better for what it's worth like Scarlet Violet does have some pretty nice looking animations uh for what it's worth but they just could be so much better you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's great. It's great, Mikey. It's great. <laughs> yep, so much life. So much life. You'll love to see it. Okay, Smarton goes down. Not too shabby. What? I lost. I can't go back to the lair like this. Yeah, the models do look pretty good. I will say, yes, a lot of the, the new models in Scarlet and Violet do look quite, quite nice. Uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, the, the ones that they made, like, hella shiny. Just because the lighting engine is like a little too harsh so it's like it's kind of hard to like look at a magnemite for too long uh, or, or like whatever other pokemon because it's like legit too shiny but if they can find like a good balance honestly i think sorted shields like like lighting engine was perfect if they just take like the 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 nice textures and put them into that like sword and shield visual style i think it could actually like look genuinely really good and like it would be, it would not be, like, too, um, it wouldn't be too intensive, but it would be, like, um, <clears throat> it would be very, like, stylized, basically. I would much rather have a style, like, a very visually appealing stylized Pokemon game than one that just has, like, oh, it just has, like, really good high-quality textures, right? Um, so, yeah, that's what I would love to see. I would, that's what I would love to see. Yeah, big agree, big agree, Monica. If there was ever a game that could have benefited from that Legends Arceus, like, uh, Starshine uh, sound effect, Scarlet and Violet could use it so bad. Obviously, like, it's easy to say that and just be like, oh, I want it in there because it's convenient. But honestly, like, it's a lot easier to notice a shiny in Legends Arceus visually than it is in Scarlet and Violet. So it's weird that, that Legends Arceus was the one that wound up with that. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of wild. Okay, so we, I think we're all healed now, right? You think he healed us, healed us up? Yeah, we're good. Okay, sweet. Um, so yeah, uh, we just need to go and explore, uh, the ship and find the lost Pokemon. That is the name of the game. And also, a battle CD. Wahoo. <laughs> Down into the depths we go. Ooh, actually, I want stuff, though. Hmm. I gotta push this here. Yeah, they, they, they snuck strength puzzles into my freaking spin-off game. What's up with that? Wait, actually, how do I... Okay, I see, I see. I see. Okay. Here. Boom. And yeah, look at that. I don't need a Pokemon to do it either. Uh, the, 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 the pro tag in this game is just hella strong. <laughs> Monica says it compounds with how it uh, went uh, to 3D. Uh, so many shinies just became so much worse. I know, yeah. Honestly, like, I know that they've been the same shinies for a long time now, color-wise and all that, but I would appreciate, like, a, um, a an update. Because um, it, it wouldn't be the first time, so there is precedence. Um, a lot of Pokemon had their shiny colors changed from Gen 2 to Gen 3. Um, so I'm just saying, like, it would be kind of nice to have some of those, like, particularly lame shinies get, like, a nice little update. I would definitely appreciate it. Okay, and then boom, like this. And back. Beautiful. Uh, Arcanine says, I feel like some shiny Pokemon were the designers spinning the color wheels and making it work, even if they look exactly the same. I know, yeah, it's 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 rough. It's rough. I mean, I'm sure there were there were some uh, time saving uh, measures for sure, for sure. 
I know. I love how vibrant Bulbasaur shiny is in Gen 3. It's like, it's like very, like, the modern one's still good. Like, it's okay. It's still, the color palette's a little muted, but like, the, the, the old one is like, it's very striking just how like vibrant green he is. It's got like over, it's, it's like you got extra chlorophyll or something. You know what I mean? Like, he looks really good. I agree. I definitely agree. Wait, can I, hold on. Can I loop around? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Um, let me just push this here. And then come around over yonder. I think we have to go up the stairs and come back to get that one that's on the on the side there. And then just put this here. Yes, very good. It's coming back to me, baby. Open, damn it. <laughs> okay, TM35. Ooh, isn't that flamethrower? Forgot how many good TMs they throw at you in this. Yeah, that is flamethrower. We still have ice beam as well. Oh god damn. We got some we got some moves here. Um actually not a terrible idea to, to teach these to some folks. We have ice beam and flamethrower. Um Cassio gets flamethrower. Hmm, that's very intriguing. I could of course save them for a future Gen 3 playthrough, but it's honestly It's pretty tantalizing. Pretty tantalizing uh, premise, just because they're a nice, powerful uh, variety of moves. Emmy uh, says, "Give us back our pig our pigmented guys." Uh, also, Mega Garchomp's pink would look so good on the rest line. I know the 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 shine like the Megas were like the we you know we acknowledge that the shinies for the for the normal form suck, but we're not gonna fix them. We're just gonna give good shinies to the Megas. Yeah, with Gengar and Garchomp, like what the fuck with that. <laughs> So y'all, y'all know there's a problem and then just didn't fix it? <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's some bullshit. <laughs> uh, Medley has answered today's question of the day. Says, I haven't played a bunch of most of the recent, uh, I haven't played a bunch, but most recently I played, uh, this gym of mine. Okay, interesting. I've never heard of that. Uh, you take on the role of a gym leader in a new town and also kind of the sheriff. You have to have a monotype team and there's regional variants and my favorite, um, my favorite some minor is some minor uh and my favorite some minor team building elements oh very cool medley it sounds really neat that's really neat yeah no i, I definitely need to play more fan games <laughs> my my knowledge of them is so limited but that sounds really cool yep yeah, sounds really cool sounds really cool i think i may have heard of it before now that i now that i'm like thinking of like the premise but maybe not i don't know um anyways uh do i want to teach um i could teach you flamethrower and maybe ice beam to ludicolo Oh, I need to look at the move sets and the stats. Um, the so special attack seventy four, special attack sixty two. So uh, I mean, so yeah, special attack were is is tied for attack. So I, there's no reason to not run special special loud red. Um, so yeah, maybe flamethrower on you for type variety, and then I guess I'd get rid of thief. I mean, we are, we are definitely a special attacker, and Thief, well, Thief is special in this gen, but still, um, Thief isn't very strong, and it doesn't even do its usual effect. Or no, we, we figured out it does, it's just, it's also just not that useful, because I'm running items anyway. <laughs> um, oh, heck yeah, Star, I would, I would, I would watch, I would watch for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and teach, we'll go ahead and teach them that, yeah, I think that sounds like a plan. Um, so yeah, Flamethrower, let's teach that to Loudred. What am I gonna get rid of though? I didn't. I don't think I checked the move set. Uh, astonish, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not gonna use that. So yeah, that's fine. Flamethrower, baby. We love the coverage. And then ice beam. On to Friday. And yeah, we'll get rid of thief. Sounds like a plan. Also, uh, now that I think about it, I wonder if the uh, the move tutor lady has more moves for us. After um, after we finish up here with Bonsley, uh, remind me to go back to Agate and we can check that out. Okay, so I go up the stairs and then back down the stairs. Oh, wait, hold on. Bonsley's here. Okay. Oh, this is going to be actually kind of tricky. I remember running into some issues on emulator with this, um, but let me, let me grab this real fast. Shit, am I remembering right? How do I do this? <laughs> hold on, hold on. So I need to get... Hold on, how do I, how the fuck do I get this? Hold on, this is gonna drive me nuts if I don't get it. 
the thanks medley, but like after, <laughs> after, after we're done here, because I'll I'll forget again. I have I have small memory. <laughs> okay, how how do though? How do? Okay, do this. I'll I'll do what I did before. I promise I can handle children's puzzles, sort of, sort of. It, actually, hold on. Can I push this? Can I push this out this way? No, it will not let me push it out that way. I, I can only push it from the other side. Okay, that means I, al I, I almost certainly have to... I think I have to do it a different way. Okay, hold on. Push both around along the right column. Okay. Okay, let me... Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to fall down. Oh no no no! Okay, I see what you, I see what you're saying, Jackie. Yeah no. Okay yeah. Push push this one up to there, and then push the other one up over there. I okay. I see exactly what you're talking about. Yep, I got it. I got it. I see it. And then push this over yonder, and then up one, and then we're golden. Yeah, very good. We love the love the team the teamwork. Uh, me and the chat taking on these strength puzzles together. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Fucking goddamn it! I hate the hitbox for that shit. <laughs> I gotta use the D-pad. Okay, yellow flute. Oh, well, I already had one of those, so I guess that was pointless. But <laughs> it's the principle of it. Damn it! <laughs> I don't care about Mirror B. Let's go. Okay, so is my controller set up for? Because I, I have to, I have to like tiptoe. Wonder if it'll. Okay, I can use the D-pad. It looks like. Okay. This count. <laughs> the my controller is not like super set up with well set up with the with the joystick. We ran into this trouble last time we played XD as well, where I couldn't get it to like tiptoe. You're supposed to tiptoe. I'm hoping this little like tappy tap 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 will work. Oh no, he woke up. No, don't run away. Fuck. Okay, no, I have to I have to figure out how to figure out how to get this better optimized so I could sneak up on him. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> shit. I guess I need to, because I, I legit, like, this. I can't, like, tiptoe. It just doesn't work. Oh, wait, no, it does work. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I can... Yeah, I gotta lower the sensitivity. Can I, like, do it, though? Oh, I can do it. Okay, I just gotta be really careful with the joystick. I'm, like, using both hands on the joystick. Hold on. <laughs> I can figure this out. Same, Frumpy. Yeah, it's such a it's such a Gen 3 thing, it feels like. They did it a little bit in Gen 4 and 5, but, like, they haven't done it the same sense. Yeah, this should work. And then we get an email. Yeah, okay, cool. Yep, yeah, that was that was correct. Very good. Yay, I didn't have to, I didn't have to fuck with settings. <laughs> I just had to be very careful. <laughs> uh, Mike says, I've been forcing myself to draw Pokemon. Lord, they're all almost impossible. <laughs> I would love to, if you feel up to sharing, Mikey, I would love to see them if you want to post them in the Discord. Uh, we have the art art channel in the Discord. I would love to see any artwork that you that you feel like sharing, so feel free to share if you're feeling up to it. Uh, yeah, we got the email. Okay. Oh, it's freaking Acri from Gatenport. Liz, I would like to write a novel featuring you as the main character. Yo, imagine you get an email and that's the, like, like the, the first thing that you say. <laughs> I would like to write a book about you. <laughs> Grown ass adult emailing a child. I would like to write a book about you. What the fuck with that? <laughs> Please let me interview you. I have a good feeling about this story. I think I I might be generous with my thanks. Thank you. All right, cool. Thanks, Acri. <laughs> Startled by the mail the mail's message noise, the Pokemon fled somewhere. Well, there it goes. Beautiful. And we grab the leftovers. Heck yeah. Yeah, first part of the, yeah, she's gonna make the the lids uh, the lids iceberg uh, the lids I I iceberg video. Acri Acri from Gate and Port, notable YouTuber. <laughs> uh, Frumpy says, I remember uh, discovering I think it was Weavile and Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue when I was a kid. That was so fun. I know, yeah, like I, it was so such a hype time to be a Pokemon fan because it's just like oh my god, like what's uh, I don't know why I pushed that back, but oh well. Um, it was just like oh yeah, like what's this like. 
Is that a baby Snorlax? Like, what is this blue dog? Like, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, like, I remember everyone was like, oh, is this a new psychic type Pokemon with Lucario? It, it didn't wind up being, but like, everyone was like, oh, it has to be psychic type, right? It looks like one. <laughs> Those were the good old days. I remember seeing a lot of them too, like, people would make like fake Pokemon cards, be like, yo, I got an early access Lucario uh, trading card. And it's just like a fucking like PNG on, <laughs> it's just a PNG on a psychic, psychic Pokemon card. Uh, it was good stuff. Those were the days. Those were the days. <laughs> I mean, that is true, Star. I do I do have people... Uh, it's not really fan fiction, per se, so much as it is, like, uh, there, there's a really lovely person in the in the Discord community who who is writing, like, sort of like a... Uh, I don't know. I, I, it's not really... Is it fan fiction? I guess it kind of is in a way, but, like, I don't know. I wouldn't know how to describe it, but it's it's really sweet. <laughs> it's a really sweet little thing, little thing that they're writing. I, I like reading them. Dramatization, yeah, that's a good way to phrase it, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's how how I would phrase it. Um, yeah, yeah, it's really cute. You should check them out. It's um uh, uh, uh their their screen name is a fairy in the Discord. They post them in the art channel, I believe. Um, and yeah, you can find them. They're they're just these cute little like you know short stories about like my my challenge runs here, which is really cute. <laughs> it's adorable. I love it. Yeah, shout out, shout out to a fairy. Um, I, I, I love, I love those little, little, uh, little short stories. So keep them coming. <laughs> okay. Uh, did we talk to this guy or no? Yeah, thanks for helping me out. Don't be a stranger. Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, Frumpy has answered today's question. He says, um, primarily randomizers, but I've logged many hours into Infinite Fusion. It's such a cool fan game and a lovely community of artists. Yeah, that one seems to be popping off a lot lately too. Like people are really into that game, and that's super cool. I have not gotten to uh, experiment with it, but it seems really, really nice. Okay. Down the stairs we go. How are we doing on time? Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking we probably... Because I do have to, unfortunately, end things off relatively early today. I'm thinking we do just a couple of small things, like finish up this cutscene here. Go talk to... Um, what, wait, shit, what was the thing I told you all to remind me of? See, I, I've already forgotten what it was. Hold on, hold on. I can scroll back. Because <laughs> Medley posted it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but move tutor. Yeah, we'll go check out the move tutor in, in, uh, in Agate, uh, and see if that's a thing. Um, and yes, so we'll do that. And that's probably what we'll end on today. I imagine. Cause yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably going to have to split here relatively shortly. Hold it. No one gets past here. I'm whacking, I'm whacking, waking, whacking. I, I, I like whacking is funnier. <laughs> <laughs> whacking is funnier. I'm whacking. I'm whacking Team Snagum. It wouldn't hurt you to remember that. <laughs> don't tell. Don't tell me that. Don't. You don't walk up to a small child in the desert and say that. <laughs> it won't hurt you to forget his name either. Silence. Huh? You. You don't have a clue what, who Team Snagum happens to be, do you? Back in the old days, grown men shook when they heard our name. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Frumpy! <laughs> That's so silly. Bald boys, bald boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? And they bald at you. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> I love it. Oh, goodness gracious. But that's all right. We'll, we'll be getting back to snagging Pokemon just like the old days and terrifying the world again. And we'll do that by using your snag machine. How dare. Oops, I, I, I know you're a great battler, but I'm not having any... I love that they do this. This is, like, the only time in the series I can think of where they think to just, like, straight up, like, oh, put him to sleep, steal his shit. <laughs> Imagine if any of the other evil teams did this stuff. Like, Team Rocket? Oh, let's have a Pokemon fight. Oh, no. How about we just, like, literally use our poison Pokemon to, like, give you, like, super, super Poke Cancer or something. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Makes sense. They are criminals. No, my snag machine is gone. My 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 naked noodle arm. Terrible. All right, very good. <laughs> Did you get a Pokemon ad, <laughs> Mikey? That's really funny. <laughs> yeah, buy a Pokemon. Buy a Pokemon, Mikey. <laughs> Uh, Jackson, I think the implication is that your Pokemon prevent them from doing that, but yeah, it seems silly for them to not address it. You th yeah, you think they at least mentioned be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess you up. And she's like, oh, you have Pokemon, and then yeah, you throw out your Pokemon to defend yourself or something like that. Yeah. Yep. 
They're very, they're very vague about it for sure. All right, so we no longer have our snag machine, which means that any shadow Pokemon we see, we cannot catch currently, but that is okay. It's gonna make me walk my happy ass all the way back out of this ship. What the hell with that? <laughs> got some plushies. Ooh, what plushies you got, Mikey? I just got a new. I just got a new uh, sit and cutie. Did I tell you all about that? I don't know if I sent a picture yet. Oh my god, I gotta post. Uh, I gotta post that in the Discord soon. Um, I got Letty in. I have a five star. I have a five star sit and cutie. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I have to send a picture later. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, also, can I get some five stars in the chat, please? I would appreciate it. Yay, there they are. Five star. <laughs> excellent. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Arcanine. Um, okay, so yeah, let's head to um, let's head to Agate and do the thing. I know, yeah, getting cutscene. Yeah, geez, player, you sure suck at this game to let Team Snagum steal your shit without any control. <laughs> yeah, you're really bad. You're really bad like that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Bulbasaur, Sobble, and Scorbunny. Beautiful, beautiful. I have, I mean, to be fair, I have, like, tons of Pokemon plushies, but I've been, like, a low-key obsessed with the Sit and Cutie brand. The, uh, the, they're, they're all just, they're making plushies of literally every Pokemon sitting down, and they're really cute. <laughs> they're, like, chibi-fied and stuff. Um, I have Hitmontop, Ledian, Pig Knight, Audino, and Carablast right now, and I love them. <laughs> Take it easy, Star. We're, we're wrapping up here shortly anyway, so we'll see you, we'll see you around. Take care. Frumpy says, I've got Venusaur, Mareep, Sitting Cuties. I had Wooper and Ampharos, too, but they got stolen. No, not the stolen plushies. That's terrible. Well, hopefully, you're able to replace them eventually. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, hey, Ruby. It's been a little while. I hope you're doing well. Sorry I haven't been able to pop into your streams a lot lately. Um, I hope things are well for you. It's so good to see you. Okay, show me your secrets, old lady. You have new moves for me. I don't know what the criteria for her getting new stuff is, so. Oh yeah, she definitely does. Yeah, she only had like these three, uh, or like these three or something. I don't, I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, but Body Slam though is kind of huge. Um, I could maybe get like a good move on Delcaddy, finally. <laughs> Please tell me, yes, okay, perfect. Delcaddy does get Body Slam. That is so much better than Tackle. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Yes, goodbye, Tackle. Taking this week off because uh, next week's gonna be a big one. Oh, very good, very good. I will definitely try and uh, pop in and uh, and hang out because, yeah, it's been way too long since I went to one of your streams. Um, I would very much like to catch up. Um, I've just been I've just been so busy, like, both streaming and outside of streaming, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, we'll definitely, we'll definitely get together soon. It'll be great. Um, but thanks for stopping in. It's always lovely to see you. Yeah, show me your secrets, old lady. Uh, Lids 2024 says Medley. Yep, yep. I've got lots of quotables. <laughs> uh, Don, your lady has completely forgotten how to use tackle. Yeah, yeah we're, we've replaced tackling with body slamming something. Yeah, can't remember how to tackle anything, but body slamming, we got that locked and loaded. <laughs> yeah, very good. What else did you have? Let's let's see. Uh, yes, yes, show me, show me. Okay, swagger, nightmare... She teaches a lot of weird moves, huh? Icy Wind, I guess, is kind of interesting, maybe? I don't really care about the rest, though, to be honest. The rest are all kind of garbo. Um, let's see. Oh, it's Rowlet Community Day? Oh, heck yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to pop in and see if I can snag a shiny for my collection. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Okay, so I, uh, wait, hold on. What did I click? Icy Wind. Wow, everyone gets it? Color me kind of surprised. Oh, no, Molokips doesn't, but everyone else does. What the heck with that? That's kind of weird, right? Like why, do, why does why does uh, Matang get Icy Wind? That's kind of interesting. What does that look like in practice? Um, shit. Okay, but just let me look at my stats from this screen. Hold on. Yes. Okay. Give up on that. Let me give me a second. Let me let me look at the squad here. Can we can uh can we benefit uh from Icy Wind? Just trying to think here real fast. Jack says, I don't understand why uh, why they make this move tutor once per save file per move. Like, what random restriction for a console? I know, it is weird, especially since they're not particularly good. Mo like, Body Slam is good and Thunder Wave is good. But, like, to be honest, the rest are kind of trash. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't really get it myself. Uh, yeah, what's our special attack? Okay, our attack's way better. Ice is special, right, in Gen 3? 
Or is it, is it, yeah, I would say Frumpy has me questioning if it's physical as well. I'm pretty sure it's special, because this is, isn't the, like, the, the, uh, the old, like, saying is, like, all the evolution types were special? Uh, in, in, like, like, pre, uh, pre-physical special split? I think that's what it was. Yeah, so ice, ice is special, dark is special, psychic is special, and then, um, electric, uh, fire and water are all special. Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Um... So with that in mind, um, who would, who, if anyone, would benefit from that? I do like to, I do want to keep attracting Thunder Wave, probably. I could replace Water Pulse in theory. I mean, I do have Surf on um, Ludicolo, so I don't necessarily need the Water Pulse. Although it has been handy with the, uh, with the confusion from time to time. What is the power on Icy Wind? Is it like 55? Um, yeah, all evolution types and Dragon. Yes, that's, that's, that's the, that's the thing, Jackie. Yep, you got it. Um, and then as far as, I mean, we have Ice Beam there, so we don't need, I guess that's also true. It's, do we even need Icy Wind? Should I bother with Icy Wind? I kind of like all these moves, too. We don't have the electric on anything else, so we want to keep Shockwave for sure. I guess I could toss Seismic Toss, but that does have utility, so. Does, is Icy Wind a spread move? Okay, good to know. I need to know what the power is on it again. Um, I guess if anyone, I would teach it to... Um, oh God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, I need. I need to look at the power real fast. Let's just do, just do Leia for now and see what see what that looks like in practice. Um, icy wind. God, it is only fi fifty five power and it's spread. So that's kind of that's kind of doo doo, right? That's like, is it? I forget how spread moves works. Is it? Is it literally fifty fifty or is it like like a certain percentage? I can't remember. Because that might not be worth it, honestly. Hmm. Hmm. It's only a little weaker than water poles. It's 75% damage reduction. Okay. A 70... Wait, 75... 75% reduction? Or, like, it is reduced to 75%? Because that, that is different. <laughs> just, just to make sure I'm clear there. Like, it, it will do 75% of total power, or it's reduced by 75%, meaning it only has 25% power. <laughs> that, that is a huge distinction. Okay, got it. Yeah, just, just, just making sure, Jackie. I was pretty sure that's what you meant, because I was like, I don't think it reduces it that much, but I just wanted to make, make sure I wasn't crazy. Um... Uh, I, let's wait. I think I'll wait on Icy Wind. Um, if I, if I decide, like, you know what, I need, I need more ice coverage, then I can do that. But for now, I think I'm gonna skip it if I can get out of menu hell. Hold on. <laughs> this may take a while. Give up on Icy Wind. Yes, please. Okay. And yeah, we'll come back. We'll come back. I don't know if, it, if she expands her, uh, inventory of moves at all. Um, hey, Janita, welcome in. Uh, I am gonna be wrapping up here in just a moment, so my apologies. Um... But uh, yeah, it's it's lovely to see you at the very least. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately, I had to I have to wrap up a little early today because I have some unexpected unexpected plans uh, taking place today after after stream, and I need to be ready here um, in about uh, like a half hour. So <laughs> uh, yeah, my apologies, my apologies. Uh, but yeah, so let me come in here. I'm gonna heal just for posterity. And uh, yeah, I guess this is where we will go ahead and uh, wrap things up for today. Um, so yeah, um, I will be streaming tomorrow. I have not posted the next week's schedule quite yet, but, uh, that will go up, uh, just before, um, or it should go up here in a few minutes. I'll, I'll have that put together. Um, so yeah, uh, keep an eye out in the Discord for the schedule. Um, yeah, fun, fun stream. It was a little bit of a short stream, but it was fun. Uh, we had a good time, I think. So yeah, that, that is good. Um, and yeah, I will see you all at 1 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow, um, for, um, it will be more XD uh, tomorrow, uh, but there may also, I haven't, I have to like quickly look and see what I've got on the docket here, but um, uh, there may be some unusual stuff taking place next week. So uh, just, I guess just keep an eye on the schedule and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, uh, or maybe you won't, maybe it'll just all be XD. I haven't figured it all out yet. So, <laughs> uh, but in any case, uh, yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for coming and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.